Well, originally the band approached me, uh, they had seen The Lost Thing and um, one other music video that I had done and they were very interested in the way that I approached my work and they were very interested in my animation skills and so they actually wanted to do a music video clip that was animated using felt. And at the time I thought it was perhaps a lot of work to do the entire video animated and so I pitched to them uh, kind of a hybrid between live action and animation where we actually made part of the world that the main character lived in was made out of felt. The one character played by Johnny McKay was um, going about his day-to-day -day life and it was kind of almost like a groundhog day. And so therefore everything that was mundane and routine or the same uh, became sort of fuzzy, fuzzy felt. And so we used the fuzzy felt for all of that. And it also represented things were perhaps a little bit overwhelming in his day-to-day -day life. And playing to the themes of the lyrics, praying for sunshine, he goes about this day in this somewhat bleak world where he's, all he wants is to have to see the sun, to see the sunshine. So he's continually looking out the window of the bus, out the window of his work, and when he's at home, and finally at the end of the day, he sees the sun for a brief moment, and the melancholy thing is then the sun sets and it, it's gonna start all over again. I, I sort of had included some sections with animation, so little animated cutaways of his perspective, his point of view, where I could do like looking out the window, a little animated section. So they were actually done in a traditional sense with flat planes, so we had flat planes of glass where there was layers of felt cutouts which we animated and then you know it's just presented as a, a scene that he's seen. And some of these were affected with further visual effects like the sun, I did like you know sun rays coming off but it was still essentially from a stop motion base. We shot it with very high-end cameras, so with screen direction and all the kind of classic elements of filmmaking were there, and it was photographed at a very slick level, but at the same time we had a very crude or rudimentary level of sort of lo-fi kind of dodginess, everything was very block-shaped. I was pretty lucky on uh, Prank for Sunshine because Johnny was happy to play the role of this lead character going on this, this journey. And then there were a variety of supporting characters which I sort of intended to put in there. And what I actually did was I got Heath Crawley to play every other character. It was meant to be that everybody looks the same, everybody is the same in this world. Heath really rose to that challenge. He, he was really excited about playing all these roles and it was really fun to try and get that performance out of him. Production costs are within reach of a lot of younger filmmakers or a lot of younger creative people. You know, a good video to a good song gets um, shared around the internet very quickly. I think that's going to be, yeah, a great, a great factor for the, the rebirth or the, or the renaissance of music video as an art form. And to have it acknowledged in an exhibition, I think, is really important. Otherwise, like on their own, they're just like little snippets of gold that are out there in the ether and people forget about them. But to sort of bring it all together and say, this is the common thread between all of these amazing pieces of video artwork um, and you can experience it in one place, I think is really inspiring um, for, for anybody. I mean, for future filmmakers, but just for people who appreciate any kind of visual medium, I think it's wonderful. Mm -hmm.